Hi, Cyberspheres here, back with another Ordinal Market video, episode 30. And I have no idea where I left off. I have 91 boosters. What challenges do I have complete? Not a lot. I have some. Maybe I should just. I feel like what I should just do at this point is just get get up to try to get a few more factor boosts here with these amount of challenge completions. Let's let's see what I, yeah. It's um, another boost here in just a few seconds. And if I probably go into incrementing, I could probably get some stuff. Yeah, E15. So I feel like I did make the right decision here. So maybe two factor boosts and another and one of these. Uh, yeah, just these upgrades. That's what I feel like I should get. Maybe then I can complete more challenges. It's been like a week since last time I I recorded any ordinal marker. Maybe over a week. So well, okay, two factor boosts. I feel like that's pretty good. Like, if I go into... I, I have no idea what challenges I should even do. Maybe challenge two here, because I feel like that one's going to be pretty easy with these factor boosts. Hopefully. Hopefully. Like, let's see. We... Okay, we're... Is that... That's, a, that's like 181st. We're on 27th. No. Okay, this, this one's... I'm not gonna do that one. I'm gonna do a different one, like challenge five first time. Maybe that one. That one seems more reasonable. So probably should just get the three free factors, and then hopefully I can get E122. Uh, does it looks like I can get there E121, so it's possible. Just bear. Just okay. Yeah, it's possible. It's a little easier than challenge two. I I haven't checked this in a while. It's been a thousand seconds in this collapse, so yeah. Okay, here's E122, so I can complete this challenge. I cannot do challenge six yet. Maybe I can now do challenge two, and then because it's gonna be a little easier this time around, so um, because of the challenge three reward, so or challenge five reward. It's only about two times easier, but that that's that's gonna actually it, it's definitely gonna make this quite a bit quicker. Also, one thing to note, there's actually been an update since I recorded our last episode. So, there's some renaming. This is now called Extra Factors. There's a quadrupler. Oh yeah, they've... Um, the creator of the game has actually done something to mitigate the time walls. I have forgot. I have no idea... Maybe it's the... I have no idea what the quadrupler is. It just says, your quadrupler is four times. Does that mean everything is four times faster? That's what I feel like. There's something here, and... I don't think there's much here. I think there's just new. There's some, there's some text here, but uh, I I have no idea. Oh yeah, Ordinal Marker Factor Shift Edition minus. That's actually one of the one of the one one of the contestants in the incremental tournament poll. So yeah, I don't see much else that's changed though. I think the dark upgrades is the same. So I can complete the challenge. So maybe not having the challenge completed. I'm gonna try to get some more factor boosts so I can actually complete challenge six. So I can get one factor boost easily here. It's been a little bit since last episode. I think with this, with maybe one factor boost, I will be able to actually get um, challenge six completed. But um, but I'm so close to oh, I'm not close. Okay, so maybe just this one factor boost here, and that should allow me to be able to complete challenge six with this build so I can't even get that so hopefully it's still gonna be possible here at least the first time I think is possible and challenge six seems harder maybe you're, is there something um, can't buy booster upgrades what do you really what do you mean you can't buy booster upgrades you can do a maximum of 1,000 manuals because you click quadrupler is disabled hmm still don't know what it's really talking about, but, um, I guess I just have to do this manually now, because there's no automation for it. That's, that's, that's really annoying. They actually feel like this challenge is harder than it used to be, which is not, nothing I, nothing anyone wants to see, so. But he, here's, here's a few factor shifts. Hopefully, hopefully I can actually beat the challenge. Yeah, E42, E43, so I forgot, it's E44 to get the next one, so 
Not sure if that's actually possible. Maybe I should just do challenge four third time. Or I just do this. And I can't even gain the five times as many war no points here. But it should be possible here to beat the, this challenge. It says time till next challenge is coming soon. I, I have no idea what that means, but whatever. We can get E119 here. So, yeah, that's that. Maybe we can do, oh yeah, challenge seven first time. So, yeah, I, I think that, that one's possible. Um, but let's see. Um, it's two factor shifts and then just this time wall. And I should probably at least get to the point where I can mark up at all. Just so I can, like once I mark up here, I, yeah, I'll be able to actually do stuff. And is that really only E6? Uh, do I, this challenge is so much harder than it should be. I don't get it. Maybe it's because I don't have the right build. I don't know. The challenges seem harder than before. I, I don't get it. I, I really do not. I, I don't get it. But whatever. That's what. Maybe, maybe I can just do. Possibly I can do challenge six here. And now we have to manually do it. And nobody. And yeah, this is terrible. I feel like this is going to be a slower collapse than last time. Unfortunately. So. Yeah. Really unfortunate that I just do this all the time. You can't just start with enough ordinal points to just just get the ball rolling. That's the problem. So let's see, E43, E44. So now we can beat the challenge. So I think with that challenge completion, I should be able to get closer to collapse here. Just maybe a few more fact. I think just one more factor shift. It's going to be crucial to beating a lot more challenges. So, yeah, it's going to be... Is it if it's a factor shift? Factor boost. Whatever. And incrementing is probably also... Yeah, look at this. E16. I'm... Yeah, wow, this is actually cheaper than it used to be. It used to be E17. No wonder I ignored it last time. It's probably because I thought it was just E17. No, it's now E16. So, yeah, and then there's this double the production of incrementing I probably want to get... It says gain a flat 1 E8 per second tier 2. So it's interesting. Okay, so I think that's just, it could just be a rewarding difference, but I know. I can get three factor boosts here, so this should definitely make it a lot easier to complete challenge 7 because of this. So challenge 7, and also maybe even challenge 6 third time. I'm just gonna do challenge 7 though because it's, it's once he. I think with this build, it's going to be easy. So, um, yeah. Just this time wall to deal with, and then markup, and yeah, E22. So, I think I can do the other completions of this now. Okay, we've completed challenge 7, second and third time. Maybe we can do challenge 6 here, and now, now we have some auto automatic growth. So, here we go, E114. So, easy challenge completion. Now, challenge 3 and 5. Should also be pretty easy here. Um, I need to actually get upgrades and get this going. Should be enough to get all of that. So, challenge five, challenge three should be super easy here. E256, yeah, super easy. I'm not sure why the cap is E257 instead of like E300, but whatever. You get challenge five second time. It's actually a little, okay, yeah, still a very easy challenge. And now, challenge eight, third time, where we actually go for the, whatever, the decremeny and the dark upgrades and all that. And we actually need to do this manually. It's just been a while, so that's why I'm probably a l acting a little bit like a fool right now. Because I just don't know. Like, I, 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 also just the balancing changes in the most recent update has really changed things. So, now base seven here. So, I know we can get to base six. So, let's mark up here. Um, I feel, oh yeah, okay, base six. I, 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 yeah, something's going wrong in my brain right now. But base five is where, where, we, can, where we can reach. Yeah, with this E12, we, we, well first of all we can complete the challenge. But I think it's better to, to kill two birds with one stone here by by doing this before completing the challenge. 
I'm not even sure. If we, I don't think the challenge rewards do anything. So, yeah, with this amount of Deeker Rennie, we can get more Dark Manifolds. So, like you just see, I'm not exactly sure how much Deeker Rennie I really want to go for. I think I do want to try to go for that E729 here. What is this? Reduce the potency of Deeker Rennie by 5%, which doesn't really do much. And then, of course, there, there's the Dark Manifolds, which will help its reward for Challenge 5 third time and just trying to get as many factor boosts as possible. That's what I'm going to do for the Olive upgrades. Like, at, at, at the very least, I'm going to try to get 16, which is 48, which is, yeah, that's a lot. And then this would be 768 Olives. So, yeah. And what I really want, I, I don't, I wouldn't really want to do, like, click the one exactly 256 times. I know I could just use the answer trick, but still, still, just... Yeah, well, well, there is these. Reduce the, the potency of Decremeni by 5% here. And of course, all of these dark manifolds. And then, of course, the 1.2 times multiplier 2, um, tier 1 and 2. And then there's this, which I don't think really makes a difference. So, yeah, I think this is good. I think now I'm just going to complete the challenge. And... Yeah, I have to go to the right tab here. It's weird that it's not, like, beside the ordinal, but whatever. Challenge complete. Now, perhaps, challenge five third time? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna try to go for. Because I know it's possible with this you know, challenge. Except it's E219 instead of 218. So, is this even possible? Um, I don't think it is at this point. Because E207. So, e even with this, I just need more, I think I just need more Anchor Money, so I'm just going to go back into my build for uh, the, the just factor boosts here, and that should be very powerful with the Challenge 8 reward. Should be able to get a lot of Anchor Money here, so let's see. Um, yeah, E18 Anchor Money, I can get this, which is huge. And then the E20 upgrade here, and in the mean in the meantime, um, this is 24 factor boosts. So I may just want to go for the E21 and maybe even the, the yeah the E22 is a huge, huge one. Like it'll it'll definitely help me. And I don't think I'm not sure if it's best to just try to do this all in one run or to try to complete challenge five third time i think i think it's a little bit better to get challenge five third time except will that even be possible that's another question maybe i'll just do it after the backman howard ordinal so yeah see you in a bit okay so we can now finally reach the backman howard ordinal and factor boost a bunch of times and the thing is this is not enough cardinals i'm gonna need to keep doing more factor boosts and in order for me to do that i'm definitely gonna Trying to get challenge five third time. This is still infinity ordinal points for next completion of challenge eight. So, yeah, with, with this booster account and all the incremental upgrades I got, because I got I got um, all these and I have six manifolds, it should be a lot easier than before to complete challenge five third time. Yeah, E208, E209. This is still not a freebie, but it's definitely possible here because. This is squared and increases quickly. So, I'm not really sure why this has changed from E218 to 219, but whatever. Just making it a little harder. And hopefully, with all of this, it'll take less than one minute per factor boost. That's what I really want. One Less than one minute per factor boost with all these challenge completions. So, 24 challenge completions. At this point, it's best to get this because it helps with the first it saves again just about a few seconds but if it's this quick yeah it's gonna be about a one minute each time so you can just see how quick this is going all the way to the back when Howard Ordinal so you can just see how quick this is so um, the thing is it's just gonna be me getting factor boosts until I reach 48 Aleph because so, then I can get all of two boosts incremental gain, which I think is going to be pretty powerful. Because I was thinking incremental means I can, I can finally start getting more incremental because incremental is very slow. 
And, this, th and then the next one is all of one boosts dynamic factor cap. So that I think will help in total. And this is all of Omega boosts the all of one multiplier by a certain amount. And this is gain 3% of most cardinals gained at once per second. So that's gonna actually, that's actually really nice. But that one costs a ridiculous amount of cardinals. So but you can see with this one factor, but actually no, this factor boost I don't think does act does anything it's still four cardinals but um i need to actually hold s down but it, it just it's just gonna keep getting quicker and quicker each time because of of the this booster upgrade that increases each time so yeah i don't think there's really much else i can do to speed up any further so yeah see in a bit Okay, I'm back not actually that much later maybe about 10 to 15 minutes and we're getting collapses done in about Well, not collapses, but factor boosts done in about 20 seconds and we're gaining a lot of cardinals here We can gain 883 Cardinals and it, can, it just keeps going up. It, it's ridiculous. This doesn't seem to go down I'm not sure if that was because of the latest update It's also that you were getting one all of power every three seconds and that caps at 1200 all power that doesn't really do anything but you can just see how overpowered this is it, I, it feels like it feels like i'm a god i'm gonna be able to get two all of upgrades here all of two boost increment gain and all of one boost dynamic factor cap like i feel like that's gonna be pretty overpowered like in, in tandem with each other so <laughs> you can just see 20 seconds maybe e I would say, yeah, about 20 seconds to collapse, or not collapse, but like for each factor boost. And at this point, we're getting like, if I just keep doing this, I am getting almost 120 um, <laughs> cardinals per minute, which is two per second. So you can just see how overpowered this is. Like, I, I don't, I don't want to end this because it's like, oh my god, so many cardinals, 1,014. I only need, I think, 816. To be able to get both olive upgrades it just keeps going up now it's 1058 cardinals okay maybe i'll just do it this time um yeah I'll just, maybe actually maybe i'll do it next i have no idea i just keep wanting to do it but anyway hope you enjoyed peace out